Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Lutalo Zubego TV, part two of La Lela with Mawoda. <laughs> My brother, yeah. how much football do you watch these days? I try to watch as much as I can. Yeah, I try to watch as much as I can. I, I wouldn't say I watch a lot, but I do watch. Tell me the transition. Um, I, I, I mean, you used to wake up, I think, for about 16 years, wake up, go training matches, mm. uh, uh, tilling fans, and then all of a sudden, that stops. Mm. How is that for you? It's, 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 it's very challenging. It's a challenge on its own, but you need to be ready for it. You have to prepare for it. You can't play football for forever, so you need to be ready for it. Whether you would want to go into coaching or you would want to go into something different, but you need to be ready to, to, to do something different when you stop playing football. How did you prepare yourself for that? How did you get yourself ready for that? Yeah, well, I knew I had to stop <laughs> at a certain time, and I, when when the time was right, and I felt I needed to stop, and I I think I had set my 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 stuff properly because I was running certain things on the side, just two three years before I I I stopped playing and I was studying as well, so I felt I was ready to stop playing football. What are you studying? Um, studying LLB, but I took a break this year. I, my business was just too much, so okay. I'll go back probably next year. And then, in terms of the values that the game mm. has taught you, what have you learned from the game and that you've taken to your business? I think it, you, you, you just need to treat people equally, because once you are not treated equally, in every aspect of life, it becomes a problem. I mean, as a player, you need to treat your teammates equally. You can look down on the other one and, and try to please the other one. You just have to treat people the same. That's the one thing I've learned in football. If you treat people the same, things will fall for you and you, you need to force your own luck at times, you know? And you need to be genuine as a person. Go to people with, with, with genuine intentions. And no. things will, will, will reward you. You'll, you'll be rewarded for, for your efforts. Let's talk Sundowns, the yeah. treble champions. Have you had time to congratulate them? Yeah, I, I, well, I, I never had the platform too, but I mean, I, I still speak to some of the guys, you know. I, I spoke to Temba Zwane because I were a bit close. He was a, He's a friend and I speak to Surprise as well because I see him a lot. I, I play with him indoor now. So yeah, but I never got a platform to congratulate them on a bigger scale, but congratulations to them, they deserved it. And I had said in the beginning that uh, uh, football-wise, Chiefs deserve to win the championship, but when it comes to quality and, and the standard of football, Sundowns will win it all year. You, you obviously spent time at Sundowns yeah. and you won two league titles. Yeah. How would you sum up your stay there? And um, uh, do you remember how, how, how you were able to get to, to, to Sundowns? Yeah, I think I, I got to Sundowns from Swallows after uh, the season where I was the top goal scorer in the league and then I signed for Sundowns. And uh, I think my stay at Sundowns was just injury ravaged, man. It was not the best. It started well, and then I got injured and then struggled to come back. And Sundowns is a big team. If you don't play for three, four months, they get someone who's going to do the job. Mauta, I, I was watching Adam Lalana the other day. Yeah. Um, you know, breaking down, uh, playing for Brighton, mm. following obviously the career he had at, 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 at Liverpool. Mm. How difficult it is to pick yourself up when you've set out, how, how mentally, how, how difficult it is to, to get yourself back 
into the team, especially mm. at Sundowns where the expectations so, are uh, high. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a challenge. It's very difficult, you know. But I think the most important thing is the, is the support, the structure you have around you. Because in South Africa, it's different. Once a player is out injured for a long time, when they come back, they come back overweight. They tend to drink a lot, you know, and your recovery from the injury takes longer than what it's supposed to. So I think once you have the people around you that understand where you are and understand what you want to do and what you need to achieve, that would would be better for you. I think you, you just need the support. The, the support from the people around you is the most important thing. Once you get that right, for you to come back and, and probably be a, a better player than you were, the chances are very high. As long as you have the people around you that support you, that are genuine, you'll probably do well. Obviously, you won two titles at Sundowns. Yeah. Um, and then you were part in the campaign, uh, yeah. especially first round uh, with the Champions League. Mm. But you don't get to finish the course. Yes. You leave in July. Yes. And Sundowns, they lift the, the Champions League in November. Yeah. Wh where are you watching that game? Uh, I think I was... Uh, I think I was in PE at the time. Yes. Yeah, I think I, w I was in PE at that time when when they were lifting the Champions League trophy. But they still need to give me the medal for that Champions League trophy. You were part <laughs> of the team, yourself yes. and, and Surprise. Yes, and probably others as well. Because... It's a very tricky one, but I, I just, maybe that's why I'm studying LLB, because when I'm done, then I can go to uh, uh, CAF and then look at their rules and then see where, where I can so come out and say. Where, where, where you are, you, you feel that you, you deserve the Champions League final because you're part you're of, the, of the team. Yes. Because you played You matches. can only register 30 players in the Champions League for a season. Yes. And you can't replace or do anything. So if you win the Champions League, they give you 30 medals for the players that you registered. How much of a disappointment is that for you? I mean, it's a, in 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 it, in other countries, probably in better leagues and in better countries, they would come and give you your juice and say. You know, you were part of this team, even even though you played the first round or whatever. Here's your medal, you deserve it, your name is there, you know. The players that won the Champions League at Sundowns, if you go to uh, FIFA, uh, FIFA or CAF record books, the names that are there, my name is there. I, I was looking at it when I was looking at your... Um, what you've won, yes, and I saw the the, the the Champions League trophy, but I know that you were with Chipa in PE during that time. Yes, have you spoken to anyone at Sundowns about this? No, I think it's upon the club to do that. If the club is bigger, because it's a big club, it's not a, a, a township club. They should do that. I wouldn't go to Sundowns and say, no, I deserve that. The club should do that. But clubs in South Africa, well. It's, it's normal in South Africa when a, a player signs a contract with another team and he still has six months to play here, they'll tell you, no, he can't play, what, what, he must just go and what not. There's a recent situation with what happened with George Maluleka. Hence, mm -hmm. she's lost the league. I mean, they could play the guy. He could play him until the season ends. Yeah. And he would have, they would have stood a better chance. But now, it's, it's what it is. There's no one who's talking about it. People don't want to talk about it. I don't know who needs to talk about it first for people to... Wow. <laughs> Football. Yeah. Um, and then you, you, you obviously go to Chipa uh, yeah. uh, uh, to, 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 to wrap things up. Yeah. And how is that move? Because I, I remember once um, when Sundowns came through mm. and you were with Cheese Boy. Yeah. And you 
you ask me for, for the for cheaper, the yeah, for yeah. the song, yeah. yeah. And then um, now you say Nelson Mandela based in now, mm. and the song is pumping. Yeah. You 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 wanted is it, is it the move that you wanted? Yeah, I I I I, th I think so. It's I wanted to go to cheaper. Yes, because I could have probably maybe went somewhere else. But once Chipper said no, then, and then Dan, Coach Dan was there as well. And, you know, and looking at him and the previous teams that he coached uh, and the previous Chipper team that he, he had, I, I said, ah, I'm going. And the team as well. I mean, I felt like it's a vibrant team. It's a team that is different. It's got its own big stadium. The pitch is nice. That's the one thing I look forward to. Everyone will tell you. Whenever we play, I look for the pitch first. If the pitch is nice, I'll tell you, yeah, yeah, I'm going to kill them. You know, the pitch is nice. The environment is okay. PE is not that bad. It's yeah. very, it's still in South Africa anyway. So, What what do you regard as a highlight? Um, a a cheaper. A cheaper. Mm, there, was, there, was, there wasn't much though. But I got, I got injured in my... I think it was my first season there. Yes, yeah, yeah. And towards the end, but then I, I and then I, I. You I come think back I and the team is fighting relegation. Yes, facing super sport. yes. I tore my my quads. I think both sides. So I was, I should be out probably for six months or so, but I I come back home. I try. I work on myself. I do this and do, and then I call coach. Then I'm like I I think I'm ready. And he's like hey, and we playing super sport and it's a tough game. I'm like, I'm ready, I, I want to play. It's like, okay, come back. Then I went back and then I trained and then I was in the starting line and I fought and I, I, I could feel that my legs were giving in on me. Yes. I fought and fought and fought. And then after that, I told Coach then that no, I, now I need to, because Coach then was like that. He could talk to me, he would ask yeah, me, are you yeah, okay? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, and then he would be like, yeah, you, you want to sub? Who do you think you, you can change the game? I was like, ah, you can sub me and put Rulani on. I think those guys are tired now, Rulani will score and not, not. And he went in and he scored. Scored a hat trick. He scored a hat trick or something, you know? Yeah. Yeah, he scored a hat trick. And won 3 0 and we were okay. Yes. And after that, I was like, ah, no. I yeah. can't. My legs are just dead. Wow. I couldn't. That was the highlight. And I think I enjoyed Coach Dan more. I think Coach Debza as well was, he was okay. He would have, he would probably be one of, 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 the, of the best coaches in, in South Africa if he would get a proper chance. He's yeah. got that potential. Wow. I mean, I know that you also played it with Bafana. I mean, yeah. you, you, I mean that 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 is a huge compliment for for Coach Tebu uh, mm. uh Talk about Bafana. How how do you sum up your? I mean, twenty two caps, uh, mm. two goals. Yeah, it's, I, I, the national team wasn't my thing. I think. I think uh, that's why I say uh, uh, by the time I I I realized what. Playing for the national team is Coach Pizzo was gone. Yeah. And he was at the national team at the time. So I couldn't, you know, uh, he, he couldn't advise me. He couldn't be there for me. So that's why I say if he had coached me a bit longer, I think my time at the national team would have been far better than it is. I don't know when was the first time we met, but mm. I do remember that um, I made a debut on Soccer Zone because I was hammering uh, Santana mm. for leaving you out of the national team yeah. in 2008. Yeah. Um, I think as, as, as the guys, uh, the squad that was going to... Confer. To Confer, to, yeah. to, 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 to Ghana. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the team that was yes. going to Ghana. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I was hammering. So they took that clip and played that clip. Um, when you say that Bafana, maybe they were not meant for you. What, what, what do you mean about that? Because um, I, I'm sitting here and thinking mm. that Bafana are meant for each and every player that is doing well. Because yeah. in 2012, you are the top goal scorer yeah. in the league. Mm. But you don't get as much call-ups. Yeah. I, uh, I, I wouldn't. 
I think this 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 question I answered it in in a very funny way because I compare things to certain people and other people think I'm I'm being unfair to myself. But I would think not every uh, 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 player that plays very well in the league can do well at international level. Okay. It's it's well I I would think it's not always a guarantee. I mean you have the likes of. Andy Cole, how many goals did Andy Cole score for Manchester United? A lot. Yeah. But he never did well for the national team. Yes. He never did well. But that doesn't mean he wasn't a good player. He was. There's there's a lot, a lot of them. I mean, I, I, I'm just trying. Yeah, I'm thinking. To I'm think, thinking also yeah, also local, players yeah. that yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking. That, uh, even local, uh, yeah. I mean, they are stars at their clubs, but they will never really, really made it at, 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 at the national team. So I would think probably I was one of those if people will come out and say it. But I just think my time at the national team was a bit short. Could have been better, but it wasn't what I wanted. Obviously, you, you were in the picture for, for the World Cup. Yeah. How, how big of a, a disappointment is that to miss out? Uh, to tell you the truth, the World Cup, I wasn't really interested in that. I wasn't I I I knew when if 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 Coach Santana was the coach in the World Cup, I would have been in the World Cup. But I knew Pereira didn't like me. I knew he wouldn't because he never selected me even once. But he called me for a camp in Germany. I think that was the second camp before the last one. Mm. Here in Gauteng, I think when they were from Brazil, because I didn't go to Brazil for that camp, yeah, that yeah. month-long camp. And then when they came back, he called me and Nomvete, and he said, you know, up front they're not scoring and whatnot and whatever. But I think he just called me just to dilute the situation. But he never, even one single camp called. But so I knew then, I said to myself, ah, I'm not worried about this. If only Coach Santana was still the coach, I would be in the in the World Cup squad. I think my last question with regards to the national team, mm -hmm. how do you sum up the contribution of the generation to the national team? Our how, generation. How do you, think you guys have fed, yeah. Mm, we would need to compare ourselves to other generations, right? 96 and we, the 98, 98? Probably the best generation of the national team was the 96. Yeah. 98, after that, it was just nothing. There was, there was not much that we, 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 could, we could achieve. I mean, probably the generations that come will do that. But I think also with the, we, we had a chance with the national team to do something from the generation that was in, in the Olympics. I mean, the, the, the two generations in the Olympics. Yeah. After that, you would have a chance, but players go astray. You never know who goes where, who does what. Players just get lost in the system, so there's no progression of, of players through the national team ranks, you know? Hence, a player who's 26 can come and play in the, in, in the Premier League and be a star. And you would regard that player as the best player in the PSL. But he started playing PSL football a year or two ago. Unbelievable. Are, yeah. you, are you going to in, be involved with the game? Uh, I had always said to myself, when I retire, I need to take a break from football. Yeah. yeah probably three, two, three years and see if... I miss the game. If I miss the game, I'll go back. If I want to still be involved, I'll, I would go back. So now I'm in a position where I'm away from football. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But um, obviously, you you following. Yeah, um, obviously, I would I would go if I. I, I know Tim. Uh, you know, is 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 getting yeah into football in a big way now. Yeah, if I if and I if I have a chance, guys, I go. Yeah, you've been talking to him. To Tim. Yeah. No, 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 no. At, no. As a friend, yeah. As a friend, we talk. Yeah, we talk, we, but not football terms and 
football and what he's doing. I wouldn't know. I don't know what he's doing. Whether he's buying the club, whether yeah, I don't even know where his team yeah finished in the league. You know, yeah. Mauta, I know that you also do a lot. You know, uh, for, mm. for 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 the community. Um, yeah. um Doing Christmas stuff again this year? Yeah, definitely we 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 are, we are, we are, uh, are gonna do that again, and we had uh, planned a lot of stuff to do, you know, before yeah. uh, the lockdown and the whole corona pandemic. So that's something that is close to my heart. I always do that, and I always try by all means to give back. We we wanna go big a, a little bit. I mean, in the years to come, and make it an annual thing and. Uh, a big thing because that's what brings joy to most people and most definitely to me. Rashford um, and all mm. other players around the world, Didier Dropa, um, mm. Samuel Eto, you know, doing a lot of giving back. Mm. And also in South Africa now, um, Stuart Chabalala, Kaizam Dong Jr. Mm. Um, KG, how important it is for footballers and ex-footballers to give back to their communities in closing? I think it's, it's paramount. It's, it's a big thing. That's where you come from. People look up to you and they want to be you. They, they think when, when they see you, they see hope. You know, they know you, you, you were a person who was in their vicinity not a long time ago, but now you're on TV and whatnot. So it's very important for us to go back to our communities and give back. Give, I wouldn't say give back to the less fortunate because no one is less fortunate, but you just have more than other people. So if you can share that with, uh, with other people, then that would make you a human being. You're still a human being at the end of the day, and we are all human, and we, we, if you can give a little bit to someone, do that. By all means, do that. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, we're chilling with the um, Gatler for Evidence, Mashiko. The name, the man they call Mauda. Um, he yeah. trained supporters playing for 16 years. I want to thank you very much for joining us. This is your channel our channel, Lutano's Bego TV. Please do subscribe and hit that notification button so that you don't miss any of our exclusive content. Thank you so much.